so much that I didn't know about biotechnology, which was covered by the course. So I'm actually very, very pleased that I attended. I feel that you're going in the right direction. Things are being done. Uh, there's a lot to be done. I feel you're on the right track and that's why we're here to learn from your experience. Perhaps the leaders of India's struggle for independence knew all along that the first and third world are in essence but one world. As they acquire new skills and observe firsthand how India has solved some of its most endemic problems, it fills them with a new confidence and hope that problems back home, which seem insurmountable, can also be overcome. That one it will help us in our country, Sudan, especially during this time after war, we have come to peace and we need to develop. Here I started to learn uh, the main principles of drafting of, uh, India, uh, of Indian legislature, but uh, this will be very important for me. But friendships are not only about sharing the good times, they're also about being there for each other when disasters strike. While no one can deny the importance in this relationship of sharing of skills, knowledge and technology, of building of infrastructure where none exists, it is however this intermingling of cultures sharing of perceptions, of getting to know what diversity really means, that truly becomes the essence of this collaborative cooperation. There are some of our alumni who have actually gone back from, from this course and uh, not only have they prog progressed professionally, but they've actually, uh, some of them have gone on to marry their classmates, you know, from here. So that is another level of, you know, international cooperation that is not an expected outcome but does happen. What do you call someone who makes you laugh and then makes you cry when you say goodbye?